<laughs> it's so polite when you have to enter a certain someone's video against a certain other person that we all hate on this channel. Yes? This man Anna. Oh. Dude, I. Dude. All I gotta say is later. Later after this video. <laughs> oh, dang. So. So, brosives, what are we doing? Uh, now we're working on the other track of the album. Or are we just gonna wait a minute and let, let that sit for a while? And then we're gonna work on another track. We'll let that track sit for a while and then work on another one. I just been kinda thinking what we wanna do. You know? For the second, third, and probably tenth. So, we're we gonna do ten tracks? Yeah, ten tracks. Cool with that? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. But, uh, you know, you know, Bugsy, uh, yeah, what you guys say, honey? Um, nothing. <laughs> Man, you gave Glygar Vids two freaking verbal beatdowns. I mean, dude, I would freak, dude, if it came to me. I just, I would just say how stupid he is, basically. I, yeah, I did that. Did you, okay, okay, did you say, uh, okay, did you say, like, how stupid his little pointless thing is? Yeah. Did you say that this dude needs to probably go because he, go somewhere because we pro he's possibly in Britain? No, I didn't go that far, honey, dang. You don't you don't freaking use the inbred insult. It's only like a last resort. That or saying his mom was a whore. But that's again last resort. <laughs> what? Well, hey, you can't wait. You can't use. You can't use. You can't use that insult anymore. No, I mean you can, but you. <laughs> you know how it works. I mean, me and you used to be comedians. You know how it works. Yeah, 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 that's true. It's so true. <laughs> but anyways, man, um... Anyways, pal. What are, what, are, what are we doing in this video today? Oh. Uh, I forgot. I mean, I was planning to have, do this thing with Mario, looking at, uh theory that Rosalina is actually Luigi and Peach's daughter and it would have just went with Mario going like oh I don't get a chance I don't get a chance at a girl <laughs> I can't even get Peach I don't even get Peach in the freaking end oh my freaking god Luigi gets Peach this is some bull what happens to Daisy do I get with Daisy or what, what, what's going on with that <laughs> so yeah, it was just Mario got is Mario for like a whole eight minutes, just ranting away, just ranting away that um, Luigi ends with Peach ends up with Peach. You know, I looked at that theory, but how does Peach die? Did she die of old age? Does she freaking yeah yeah? I was thinking the the exact same thing. But I guess Nintendo wants to keep that vague. Because we both know that Peach's parents are dead. Yeah, but then again, how is that even... How do we even know that? I mean, how did they die? These fans speculate some sort of war between the Koopas and... Uh, Koopas and... Um, Toads. That's what people will kind of uh, assume. What about this new show, Blackish? Blackish. Ah oh, man, I mean it's I mean to me, it's not really nothing special because a lot of show a lot of shows done that stuff done the stuff that they've done before. Oh my friend, the United Republic of Fandoms is doing a video. Let's look. <laughs> he's your he's your pal now. Yeah. I kinda felt bad for telling him to shut the fuck up because really, you know, he got what I was trying to say.
<laughs> Rock on, buddy. Rock on. Oh, and United. Yeah, oh, yeah. United Republic of Fandoms, dude. I am so sorry I told you to shut the fuck up. It just. It, it, you know, when that. In the video where you saw how I felt about the fan base. It's just. You know, I always. I get on people. I get on people about um, hating Sonic Boom when it hasn't even come out yet. I mean, it's cool if you're gonna hate it, but play it and play it and have fun with it. I mean, play it and then decide for yourself that you hate it. It's like when I first started out and people were like, "Oh, I'm gonna hate this new banjo, uh, cause doing nuts and bolts." You know, people were all like that, and I was I was the one person that just said, "Wait until this game comes out and then we'll play it." See, and from my own little judgment, I mean, it's, I mean, Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, if it had nothing to do with Banjo-Kazooie Nuts, the Banjo-Kazooie series, is a fun game. You know, I mean, it's not a Banjo-Kazooie game by any means, but it's a fun little, it's a fun little nod to the first two games. And I like, and I liked it. So, you know, there's that, there's like, like my actual factual review. for that. But pretty much, you know, I liked it. I liked I liked nuts and bolts for what it was, for what it was doing. But you know what I thought guys? Think about it. Ultimate Tenkaichi. It's a game that looked cool, right? It looks good, but the combat's bad. And then we got then we got um we got Battle Z, which supports which supports six on si six, th well, it's three on three or six on six or something like that. And what does what does Xenoverse have with the two of these? It's like combining their two ideas and putting them together. And really, I I am not gonna lie that freaking uh, Ultimate Tenkaichi was a freaking pretty 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 game I am not I'm not gonna look at I'm not gonna say that it wasn't freaking it didn't look good it did it totally did look good so did so did um so did Battle Z in some instances but I me and Bugsy are just trying to say you know we feel like those two games were like a test to get us ready for what uh what was about to happen I kind of like how they're kind of implementing, um, I do like how they're implementing, I do like how they're implementing, um, I do really do like how they're implementing, like, um, D DVO online, I mean, DVO, because, god dang, you know, we got, like, people... We got like people trying to make a private a private server of DVO, and that's gonna take forever. So at least you know you know at least if we want to like do the MMO route uh, with that one. I mean I don't know if anybody's still gonna do it with Z when Xenoverse actually does come out because God dang, I mean I'm not gonna I mean personally I'm not gonna wanna I'm not gonna wanna play Revelations if um if Xenoverse does what we think it's gonna do. But, you know, they get, you know. Oh, but, oh, but Bugsy, you're gonna, you're gonna enjoy it. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna do a few more Argos Coral videos, but, uh, mostly they're just trailers. Really? Yeah, they're trailers. So, how you feel about Deadpool's movie coming in, like, two years? At least it's being freaking made. That's the one thing I'm happy about. At least it's being made. At least people are not sitting on their freaking, sitting on their asses and just letting the script rot. You know, that's what that's what that's what really got me. That's what really gets me mad about Fox. They just kind of like, oh, we don't want dead. We don't want to. We don't want to do a Deadpool movie. And then freaking everybody shows the test footage and they're like, oh, we can actually make money off of this. And I just really want to punch them in the freaking face because you could have you. 
This movie could have been done a long time ago, and yet you guys just sat there. You guys just sat there and just said, you know what? We're not even going to do this movie. Let it be in development hell for all eternity. Along with the, uh, the fourth, the fourth Ninja Turtle movie that never came out, but we still got, like, concept on that. What was that? Mo I don't know about that movie. Uh, where they come more mute, where they become more mutated. Um. Yeah, I'm not really sure about that one. I mean, I don't think it would have been that, like, that good, but, eh. Better than the anime Ninja Turtles. Oh, definitely, definitely, definitely. See, that Shredder should have been in that iteration of the Turtles. I mean, at least that would have made sense. Why were they in, like, little... Why were they in, like, robotic armor anyway? That didn't, why were they in robotic armor in the anime anyway? That didn't make any sense. I guess to appeal to the, uh... I guess to appeal to the, uh, demographic... The, uh, demographic... Of, uh, Japan, again. Japan, with all the giant robot shows and whatnot. Maybe something like that. I guess. Hey, let's look at one of Damien's things. Like I said, we are good. Um, not, not particularly. I mean, he looked better with. He looked better how his hair was. The only thing in here is a condom machine that says health mark, because I guess it's healthy. So I'm getting out of here about an hour earlier than yesterday. I just had breakfast, had some oatmeal, I had a bomb-ass omelette. Literally, it was a bomb and an ass. Today, I think we go through New Mexico. All right, well, uh, I'll push my little Damn, candy cart going here. New Mexico. Let's go. Is it because he's moving, or is it because he's on, or because he's on vacation? I think it's because he's moving. Could be because he's, could be because he's on vacation or something. But, it, but probably because he's moving. I just want to put you in my teeth. Oh, my elevator. No! Come on in. It's really hard while I'm vlogging. Okay. Uh oh. Uh huh. Off so. we go. Off we go. Off we go. Jason Siegel. It's a very so, um, rainy day here. I guess I got to embrace it because California doesn't even really rain much. So I'm going to miss the rain a little bit. I kind of like this weather every now and then. Not all the fucking time. But really, it's nice to have a switch up. But then again. Always being sunny is pretty nice, so California. I can't wait. Well, oh I yeah, it's because of the moving. The point. Food for less. So there's a homeless guy sitting right outside of Starbucks, which he has the right idea, because like I think he already moved. I mean, I he's think like, he already oh, moved. All the rich people, they'll give me some money. They're going to pay fucking five videos. dollars for coffee. They want to spare a dollar. But still, is that legal to just sit outside the door? I guess Starbucks don't give mo fucks. Well, damn it, I got a Starbucks <laughs> gift card on my birthday, and I don't have it right now, so there goes the point of that. Alright, so I'm um, getting gas. Um, I'm pretty sure it's gas Damien, station. dude, you shouldn't, like, honestly don't... I mean, yeah, get coffee, but know that you're going to probably pee in, like, three hours. I'm just saying. <sighs> like, a playground. Give me a minute, folks. We, give us a minute. We're just... Give us a minute. Okay, since we took a little, since we took care of that, um, dude, yeah, before we even start and looking at Damien's uh, little web vlog, I thought it'd be nice if we uh, if we talk about what happened uh, last night with the ex when we were at the bar. So can I talk about it? Oh yeah, go ahead. So me and Bugsy, like, like, like me and Bugsy. We were sitting at the bar. You know, me and Bugsy like own this, own it. For those of you that don't know, so we're sitting there, and you know, out of nowhere, freaking X is like, you know, guys, I should sing a song. And it's pretty much just him on the piano saying, "Sexified, sexified." It was, it was like, it was like he was trying to do a parody of Shaft, and he just kept saying, "Sexified." I mean, X likes to believe that. I mean, X can be attracted to some chicks. 
He can be he can be attracted to some chicks, but not all chicks. And he and he, and he doesn't know this, but um, he doesn't know that. But it's just so funny to see him try and do it when you know maybe like a few chicks look at him like, yeah, he's a good he's good looking. I I'd have his I'd have his hybrid vampire vampiric babies. You know, and me and Bugsy would just. Me and Buzzy were just sitting there, rolling our eyes, just sitting there. I mean, like, you know, because Bugsy kind of switches up, you know, you know, Harvey was a bartender, I'm, I'm the guy that kind of brings people their food, but it was one of those slow nights where it's just, you know, where it's just like the three of us just kind of sitting there. Uh, we get little customers and we just kind of sit there and we chill. I mean, any other night it's pretty busy, but um, this night was just kind of slow and easy, and you know, it's not bad. It's not bad. I gotta say, it's not bad. But uh, moving on, moving on. Let's go back to this. Outside of wait, maybe this is a Sonic playground. The Sonic. Dude, this is so cool. I've never seen this before. They call it a stopper. You know how I get scared sometimes when you go over bumps because coffee might jump up, but... What is this? What is life? That's probably been around for years, but that's the first time I've ever seen that in a coffee. It's actually... Yeah, and they, I mean, they always have stoppers. I mean, grab that they, they, they... You actually... They actually just give it to you depending on what coffee you get, or you have the eggs for it. Either way. Either way, they, it usually comes Something with Something new, or have I just been living under a sponge? I'd say you've been oh, wow. living under a sponge, sponge while Spongebob been dancing. On the road again! On the so we're just doing again. this. Yeah, we're just making little comments. You want to you wanted to see this video, By the way, you? much better sleep last night than the You wanted night to see before. this video, I actually you? slept without waking up. It's a miracle. Why did that sound just <laughs> say cars? Why did everybody feel the need to interrupt me? And sorry about that, everyone. <laughs> we just got our comics. And oh yeah, Bugsy, talk a little bit about that. Um, and, you know, the Sonic Unleashed adaptation has begun. We had a uh, arc with um, Knuckles and the Chaotix getting the Chaos Emeralds, and you know, basically with you know them fighting with Team Hooligan, which I really suggest you actually go and pick up because that was actually pretty funny. Because uh, Bean is just so, just so freaking funny in that. And for those of you that go, oh, for that one person uh, in extra content, they went like, oh, Dread the Hawk is now a duck. No, no, that was Bean, that was Bean the Dynamite, which, which is Bean the Dynamite Duck. But Bean was actually pretty funny. Um, seeing, um, that, seeing Fang was uh, pretty awesome too. Bang or neck, however you want to, however you want to, uh, however you want to actually say his name. You know, and uh, the stuff with Sonic uh, slowly becoming the Werehog is pretty cool. Um, because in the last, uh, the end of the, the ending of the last issue that I read, he actually becomes the Werehog. It's really going to be cool because now we're going to go full force into the. Uh, adaptation of Sonic Unleashed, and it's, I gotta tell you, it's really getting good. I also read a little bit of the last bit of um, Mega Man, um, Dawn of X, which basically, I thought was gonna be like a, just a multi, like a continuity, like an intercontinuity crossover when actually it wasn't, and I just got all excited for no reason. Um... Right, but uh, you know, in the vi you know, in the last issue, um, they were fighting one of Doctor Wily's uh, latest creations they didn't get to use. Um, you know, all the while Doctor Wily is uh planning something. Yeah, and you know, people, some people you said, and some people said to me, "Oh, Wily is gonna actually become good." I'm like, guys, they're gonna do, they're going to do the adaptation of. Mega Man 3, I think, so, uh, yeah, that ain't gonna last too long. 
because Wiley wants to go back to his ways of controlling the world and ruling the world, and that's pretty much what he wants to do. And I'm sorry, folks. That's just how it's going. And that's just how it's going to go down. Honestly. You know? Because Wiley, you know, Wiley had a glimmer of him wanting to change, but I don't think they're going to change, flip the script. I mean, there's a whole bunch of Mega Man games they had to really adapt. And I think after that, they're going to branch it off in the freaking Mega Man X territory. Which I think is pretty cool. I think it's going to be really fun. I really, I really want to know what will happen after their, uh, I really want to know what, have, what will happen after the Sonic comes after the Archie adaptation of it. Like, I really want to figure out what uh, what's going to happen after that. Are they going to just do their own thing at that point, or are we just going to get like, are we just going to get adaption after adaption after adaption? I mean, we're not, we're probably not, but I I don't want that to happen just because we can't uh, use. Kim Pender's characters, and it says they can, but they can't, they, they can't, they say Kim Pender, they, Kim Pender said to a fan on DeviantArt that he, they can use his characters, but if they're going to, like, kill them off or do something with them, like, something special with them, they have to run it by him, and I don't think they're going to use any of his characters, just, just in the, just if he, like, tries to sue them again. I think they're afraid that he'll sue again, and that's pretty much why they haven't used his characters. When they said they were free to, but you know, and I think I think Kim Penders knows that because they don't want to they don't want to they don't want to fuck with Kim Penders. They're just like, no, no, no. You can have your characters, fine. We ain't gonna use them. You want to be suing us for for freaking for freaking stuff we didn't do, and the only reason you won was on a technicality. On our part, four dollars. Dang, this is. Apparently, this road, the speed limit is seventy-five. I've never been on a freaking highway where the speed limit is seventy-five. So does that mean I can like drive 85, 90 miles an hour and be fine? Well, I hit my first toll booth, which is actually really surprising. It's really crazy because like if you travel an hour outside of my house around Baltimore or whatever. Cost money, so I don't know how I avoided a toll booth until now, but woohoo! I just passed another sign that says, Do not drive into the smoke. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Oh my god, I just passed the creepiest tree I've seen in my life. Literally, there was like, there wasn't any leaves on there, there wasn't anything, it was just branches and looked like kind of like tentacles. But wow, what was even creepier, it was a standalone tree by itself out in the middle of the open. Oh my Apparently god. I missed my exit he saw and I got the... a fucking throat change in this. I've never done something like this before. What the, the fuck? Oop. Coins the only. Right. Um, the crystal. Take that. There is that. no haunted tree in Santa and Crystal. You made that oh, up. I gave way too much. Alright. Um, yeah, I did. But well, there you go. An extra dollar for you fucks. What the fuck? I gotta do it again? I just, I just turned around to turn around to another one? What the fuck is this for? Okay, I got a quarter for your ass. Is that good? Aw, oh, you little cocksucker. There, 50 cents. Oh, dang, dang seriously. You. I don't know how I missed my turn. The highway was continued going straight, but I had to turn to do it. I don't feel so bad because the person in front of me did it too, so. <laughs> so where I'm from, roadkill usually is deer, groundhogs, sometimes possums. But I just saw an armadillo. I've never seen an armadillo in my life. At least, I don't think. Not dead on the road. Apparently, I was in Kick a Poo Nation. Literally, Kick a Poo Nation. Is that. Bugsy, really? Bugsy, say it. Uh, okay, game it. A uh, longest fucking time ago in a town called Kick a Poo. A place? Kick a poo? I want to meet the man or woman who made that into a nation and just shake their hand. His name was Young JB and he was rough. He refused to step a line. A vision he could see it fucking rocking all the time. He wrote a tasty jam and all the planets did a line. Oh, the dragon blazing as I stepped into his cave. That slices with a long and shiny blade. Twas I who 
dragon I see blue and if you try to f me and I shall f you too gotta get it on in the party zone you're not singing the whole thing no I'm not that take too long You know if we were taking, you know if we, if me and you and uh, Harima were on a road trip, you know we'd be listening to his med meditation tapes at like hour, like hour six. <laughs> yeah, yeah we would, but you know I like meditation, you don't. I just, I mean, I mean, I know we're already sitting still so it really doesn't matter, um, but at the same time, I just feel like, you know, we'd we shouldn't be meditating while on a road trip. I, I, I mean, that should be like something of like we had to stop at a hotel for the night. I feel like that'd be an uh, opportune time for us all to meditate in one place. No, you just hate it because you just don't like the serene and calm. You like the crazy and out of control. Yeah, that's why I like death metal. And you do too. I like all kinds of music, really. Just if, the, if it's a good, I mean, I don't care about the artist, but if it's a good song, I will enjoy it. You know, but I don't listen to a lot of rap these days because it's it's basic. It's basically the same thing. I'm sorry, to me, it's the same. It's the same. It's the same kind of. It's the same crap any way you turn. So personally. It's ever turned down from what I actually do like that. Because the freaking music video is just so freaking crazy. I like that. I mean, I finally see the sun for the first time today. But now I'm on this very long stretch hey, Dan, of this you seeing the road. Again, right the sun. and 300 miles. So this is like the longest fucking road I've ever been on. Woo! what if we were like creepy suckers? Like, yes, yeah, Damien, do that. No. But I like for I like for one you know one YouTube one other YouTuber that isn't one of my fans to actually like to actually see one you know see it work. Windmills. Once. That's the that real reason. So cool. Someone's calling me. Well, I think I hit the. But he is up all night to get lucky after ever. getting called by that ghost. I think that was some. I think that was somebody like messing with them. I don't think so, man. I do not think so. No freaking, no person would be that dedicated to mess with them in that way. I think it was a ghost. Oh I mean, yeah, man. I'm not saying that because me and you, me and you fight paranormal sh all the time. So it's not like it's not like it's the most unbelievable thing, but. I I just don't see it, man. I just don't see it. And the ghost would keep and the ghost would keep like uh, talking to him and messing with him stuff. Hundreds of miles, I believe. So, oh, a thousand. <laughs> and I feel like one of these roads, like over there. But like, I did like ponies today because they did the uh, yeah, Octodad thing. I did. Like to believe it's yeah. Real. Actually, I don't know why I'm saying that because that's actually really freaky. If you're in the middle of nowhere when the gas station's called. And Kyle was at his funniest. Marks. I think there's a problem with the receipt machine. Love's gas station. This is not love. Yeah, he probably did this like, um. <laughs> Alright, probably well, uploaded I guess this like hurts. after he's uh, in California. Now. Yeah, Texas, probably. And now I'm in New Mexico. I'm trying to get to Albuquerque. Uh, still nothing. Nothing around. Get, get to Albuquerque, dude. Uh, besides a nice little the night falls. I'm going about 90 miles an hour, but not feeling like I'm going fast <laughs> at all. I guess it's just. Dude, 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 before the creatures come on you. Oh my god. <laughs> you better get it. You better make sure. You better make sure your car is uh, not sexual in any way because these creatures will come on you. And it's not right. Not right what they're going to do to you. <laughs> it's like Daniel was like listening to your, what you were saying when you paused that. Like, oh there my were, like, god. Four billboard signs in a row, and it said, uh, call me, and his name was Ryan, and his n number was there. That's all it said. It didn't say who Ryan was. It said, call me. 
Driving is a little bit better. I mean, yeah, yo, yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, yo, kind of, uh, the gas, gas money would probably bleed your drive, but, eh, I think it's better this way because, you know, you get to kind of go on a road trip. But this would be kind of cool. I mean, you should have brought somebody. Don't fucking move! This has literally been going on for like five I mean, minutes now. Like I said, me and Bugsy and Harima, we don't really travel alone. It's like usually the three of us packed into a car going to see something. Mostly it's just something, you know, here. Like, it's mostly Harima driving us and taking us places. It's like, guys, guys, we need to go to this place because such and such. And we and we go. We go because, you know, that's Harima. That's what he does. Yeah, pretty much. And, you know, the change of scenery is nice. Oh, now they're opening, little dickles. What the hell is all that? Was that like Area 51? I don't know, I'm in New Mexico. Green flashing lights. No, now that was a train, Damien. Trust me, you would know if you're in Area 51. Hey, Bugsy. Apparently, New Mexico Albuquerque is the windiest state in the freaking country. No, really, my shit here, my CD cases flew up and my CD started flying in the wind. This came off the freaking cooler and the top started flying off. And I couldn't get this fucking thing up a hill. And I'm like struggling and I'm finally in my room. I just need to relax. Oh, I need to relax. It really sucked. I would have filmed it, but I had to piss really bad. And I was getting real agitated sitting in the car for freaking 11 hours. And I was not having fun. You know what I want to do? I want to order myself some motherfucking room service. I deserve it. Even though I'm not even really hungry. I just want to Damn, you should have brought somebody with bed, you. you know, like a king. Like somebody that would probably like just go with you and then, um... Room service closed 20 minutes ago. Dang. You look like you're about to take a poop. I gotta stand in the driveway just real quick so I can say I stood in the driveway. Bradley, Damien, you should have went with somebody with you, so at least you wouldn't be kinda, you wouldn't be semi bored. You at least have someone to talk to. Yeah. I mean, um, that right there is basically what you could have done. I mean, yeah, you could have did the smart thing and fly, but eh, I think the road trip is better. You know, and you get to stop for the night at a hotel. Hopefully, hopefully it's a better, it's a hotel that's awesome and not really truly crappy. Like we, like we're talking like they uh, clean and there's semen on the bed sheets. When we're, we're talking about stuff like that. Probably about some freaking couple on their honeymoon just went like, yeah, baby, yeah, 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 yeah. Honey, is that how you, is that, yeah, yeah, that is. Yeah, boy. My God, ew. I don't care, Bugsy, that's what, it, that's what, that's what happens, that's what, that's what I'm going to think. That's what I do. Ew, I don't want to know that. Bugsy, you've seen it like a whole bunch of times while me while me and Coco were together. Yeah, because I because your house, let's just say for those people that don't know, is close. In a weird way, close to my room. And I usually have to get shirts where you guys are. And yeah. So I may walk I may have walked in a few times when you two were still together. And it was horrible. Yeah, you heard that. Yeah, boy! And couple going, Oh, slide it. Keep shooting, keep shooting. Oh. Is that what you, is, is that what you just hear nowadays when you just, when you're just beating off? Like, 
like seriously. So if you go and couple one that together, you just kind of hear that. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up, you idiot! Shut up, you! Shut up, you idiot! I'm not the idiot here. I'm just saying. That's probably what you hear when you're feverishly jerking off now, because all you got now is your hand. I I hate you, Bugsy. <laughs> I love you too, bro. Anyways, uh, anything else we need to do before uh, we start the next video? Um, no. I think we got everything covered. I mean, I mean, why did you got that clipboard? I didn't even write any jokes for the jokes for this video. I know, but it's good to have. And pretty much this is like um uh right what I have here is like my uh groceries that I'm getting later at the store. So uh yeah. You want me to come with you? Well, you don't have to. I mean you really don't, I don't I don't I mean if you want. Mm, yeah, I'll come with you, man. Um, you doing it now or later? Um, later. Alright. I'll throw something on. Actually, we can go right now. We'll, I'll throw something on. I'll throw something on. We'll just... You know, two, the two of us will go together. Yeah. You know? Maybe you'll find some hot chicks, you know? Who knows? <laughs> Bugsy, finding hot chicks in this dimension. What are you... What are you, high? Let's not answer that question. You are? No, no. I just wanted to be... I just wanted to be facetious. Eh. You know. You know I am. But, you know... I don't know, Bugsy. I've just been pretty lonely since... Me and Coco were kind of split. Been pretty lonely. When I want... Well, after we go come back from the store, you wanna watch Goonies? <sighs> no, Bugsy, Goonies ain't gonna fix this. Though, pretty good thought, and maybe we'll watch Goonies anyway, because you know that's our like that's our comfort thing, man. When chicks used to break up with us, we just sit we just sit on the couch watching Goonies all day. You know what I don't get? In the video in like the NES version there's a Goonies 2. There's no Goonies 2 in the actual. There's no actual Goonies 2. Like, movie wise. I'm like, weird. And you know, there's like the secret thing with the mermaid. I'm like, what is going on with that? You know, I don't even know, man. Personally, I just think they stuck that in there. Yeah, perhaps, perhaps. So, we done here, man? Yeah, we're done here. See you guys later, and we hope you enjoyed this video of us just bantering on while we look at one of Damien's videos. Oh, and if you liked it, put like and share with people, and know, and know that the fact is, Ani is divorced from Kokua. So he is free. He's free for everybody. Boys and women and men. No, just women, Bugsy. Women, Jesus, why do you have to do that to me? <laughs> because it's fun, but really, really, he likes chicks, and I'm just, just kind of fucking with him a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Call, call. You gotta call Bugsy on Skype and tell me how hot you are. <laughs> you don't have to do that. I'm just. He's friggin' sick. He's just friggin' sick. Trying to get back his mojo. When his mojo was gone the moment he married Kokua. <laughs> Shut up, Bugsy! My mojo isn't gone. Because I'm still freaking sexy, Bugsy. No matter what. I thought you said you're kinda of balding in one spot. Oh, sh- Bugsy, don't tell them that! God dang, how am I gonna freaking- Okay, how am I gonna freaking score if you're gonna- if you're gonna do this to me. Alright, alright, alright. He's not balding, and see you guys later. Like and favorite this video. We hope you enjoy it. And oh uh, yeah, Ani's balding! 
I hate you.